Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Brown and a warm welcome to the How to Cameron channel and today I wanted to make a video talking about the last press conference that KSI and Logan Paul had for their rematch. Now I'm not going to lie, this goddamn fight I've been so invested in. This fight, I'm so excited for it, I, I literally don't even know what to say. I understand that a lot of people may find that cringy. It's not because, you know, of these personalities. I'm a fan of boxing, I've watched lots of boxing matches before. I remember when I stayed up to watch the goddamn and <laughs> Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz Jr. fight and when I stayed up for it, I was just thinking to myself, why did I bother? But then when I watched it, I was glad that I stayed up for it because flipping it, that was a good fight. And this fight, the reason why I like it so much is simply one, is boxing and two, because, you know, KSI's in it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a massive fan of KSI and I have been for such a long time. Uh, and the main reason why is just because I respect so much how he branches out to lots of different things and he really tries to be a jack of all trades. And I feel like KSI, he just puts so much effort into doing stuff that he wants to do rather than things that are just going to give him a quick paycheck. And that makes me respect him so much. And honestly, I just like the guy, to be honest. I feel like he's really funny and really genuine as well. And the fact that I've watched him since probably 2011, 2012. You know, I've watched this guy for seven, eight years. To see him still relevant and actually more relevant than he ever has been is honestly inspiring. It really is. So this was the last press conference, and this actually occurred uh, in LA, uh, I believe, or Las Vegas. I didn't actually check. Before this video starts, if you guys enjoy it, smash that like button. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. And without further ado, let's skip along to the start of the meat of the press conference. I'm vegetarian. I am annoyed that I said that. What the flip? Guys, it's over to you. So that's the um, you, Sky Adam. Sports gonna, presenter, uh, very famous. Ask the guys questions from, from their stalls, but I want them actually to come up and say a few words. Firstly, the trainers uh, of the two fighters. And here I am now training one of the biggest internet stars in the world. And thanks to KSI, he has the opportunity now to um, embrace on a boxing career that... The main thing is with Shannon is he is actually somewhat respectful to KSI. Like I remember when, I think it was in the last press conference, Shannon Briggs said he was going to lose to Logan Paul, but he actually said to KSI that he's going to start his career off with a loss, but he's going to be a future fighter. Uh, I'm impressed with the fact that he called, you know, Logan out. He wanted this fight. He didn't want to ask for this fight. So he's going to get what he asked for. But I think that he's a real good, tough kid. I think he's a talented kid. I think that he's got a future in boxing, but he's going to start his career off with a loss because he ain't ready yet. It's just interesting how, like, Shannon Briggs can be the complete opposite at certain times. Like, sometimes he'll actually be nice to KSI, and then other times he'll literally try to attack his bodyguard. <laughs> would do a lot for him as, as a man and his maturity and, 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 re, and bring redemption to some things that in his life that he's made mistakes in. So this is a great uh, opportunity, and we thank KSI for this. You know what? He makes sense. Shannon Briggs actually makes sense. But then Shannon Briggs drops probably one of the dumbest lies I've ever heard. <laughs> And I don't think you can see KSI's reaction to it very well on this live stream, but just listen to what he says. Uh, to uh, Logan becoming future champion in the years to come, and people have said, champ, what are you talking about, Shannon? You crazy? And I'm not hyping it up, and I'm not making it up. I'll say it here, and I'll say it again. This man has ability. He, he has reflexes. He has legs. He has everything, and he's white. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he has legs. He's white. What? Like, Logan Paul is white. That is true, but, like, <laughs> how does that contribute to anything? So, with that being said, he's going to be the greatest thing to ever touch because I'm going to go, what? He can't be hit. He got, he got jab. He got, he got everything it takes to be a future champion. I know because I did it myself, and I did it twice. Shannon Briggs knows that Logan Paul has legs, and he is white. Smash like. This is KSI's trainer, by the way, if you didn't know. I'd be surprised if you didn't know by this point. Uh, but he's just a really genuine guy. He's very polite as well. Obviously, he's not very polite to Shannon Briggs because Shannon Briggs is a complete prick to him. But generally speaking, like he has manners, Adele Riley does, which is good. And it's grown to the point where we've got the likes of Eddie Hearn, the zone, Sky Sports involved. And it's a privilege to be here. You know, there's a lot of bands going on between me and Shannon, but people 50, I don't care about anyway. Uh, and, you know, I'm just excited. I'm really excited. We prepared hard for this fight. Uh, we've done things that we never usually go through. You know, we've pulled out sides of JJ that he's never had to use before. And that's what's going to win in the fight. People want to talk about the jab and reach and, oh, he's got pecs and he's got a six-pack. It doesn't matter. What matters is up here. This has been trained to kill. 
and now his body will perform it. Uh, very good yeah, IQ here. I haven't really got much to say, man. I'm just ready to fight. When it comes to fight week, I haven't got much words. I just smile, enjoy the moment, let him go to war. And Logan, I wish you luck because you will need it. And I'm going to do my part as a trainer to make sure he does as much damage to you as possible. <laughs> and Shannon, once you finish this event, you can go back to taking your drugs and having no contest. Now, see, there you go, being nice. disrespectful. Nice. You're not ready for this because if I break your jaw right now you can't do nothing about it <laughs> eddie Hearn, just smiling it off <laughs> i love i love eddie Hearn so much he's the promoter of this fight very world renowned for boxing so it's a little bit out of his element this is not gonna lie disrespectful nice. you're not ready for it because if i break your jaw right now you can't do nothing about it remember that remember that remember that Remember that. If I break your jaw, you can't do nothing about it. I'm not Remember that. You. I'm You're not a little boy to me. I'm not scared of you. You're a little boy to I'm, me. I'm not scared Remember that. Okay. You're a little boy to me. Okay. You'll be lucky okay. if you go back to England okay. with, your, with your jaw being broke. Keep talking. Remember I'm not scared that. of you. I don't give a shit about you, Shannon. You'll be lucky Enjoy if you go back to England without a right now, We have Shannon Briggs threatening Logan. <laughs> no, wait. What did I just say? Right now we have Shannon Briggs threatening Fidel. I'm not a fan of the open format. I think I've said everything I need to say. Okay, the thing is, right, is this is all so boring. Like, it's just so boring because they've gone through all the answers before. So what pretty much starts happening is KSI's wanted to change things up. So he's asking Logan about boxing, asking who Muhammad Ali fought, just because he's trying to convey the point that Logan Paul doesn't care about boxing. He doesn't have a passion for it. And funny enough, Logan Paul doesn't actually answer any of the questions that KSI laid out. And to be honest, you could argue that he didn't know the answer to them, or you could argue that he just didn't care. Either way, it makes sense, to be fair. But then Logan Paul starts asking KSI some stupid math questions, and throughout the whole press conference, he just reiterates random multiplications. So he's like, five times five, and obviously KSI's not going to answer because he's not going to fall for that trivial behavior, you know? And it's just really weird. Like, the thing is with Logan is he's so obviously playing a character. And I think, fine, you can play a character at press conferences, but then he argues that KSI is non-confident and he's putting it on and he's deflecting his nervous energy by being comedic when actually Logan Paul's being worse because he's flat out be playing a persona. He said in interviews that he's turning into a different person for this fight. He's not comfortable with himself. You know, if you were comfortable with yourself, you'd be quite calm and you wouldn't be bothered to play too much of a character. So what do you know about boxing? Well, I don't understand what you want me to tell you what I know no, about boxing. What happened in the first? Answer fight. me what nine times nine is. It's eighty-one, you f***ing moron. So you see, this is Logan Paul playing an obnoxious character. He's just not taking these press conferences seriously. Which, whatever, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But I think it does prove that Logan Paul can't be himself in these press conferences. He just is never himself. What happened in the first I'm fight? Glad, Let's talk about the I'm first glad fight. You've, uh, oh my god. I keep pausing this because Shannon Briggs and Logan Paul are just so stupid. Like, I've already mentioned that Logan Paul said he had an adrenaline dump. He didn't. He was tired. There's a difference. You know, an adrenaline dump only really happens if you're really nervous. And Logan Paul said that he never gets nervous. So how did he get nervous and have an adrenaline dump? And on top of that, you only really get an adrenaline dump if you really exert yourself. And in the first two rounds of the first fight, he wasn't, like, going crazy. Like at all so i don't get why he lost all of his adrenaline all of a sudden don't make sense to be honest you don't know how to box we're two That's days away guy. and trust me you'll you see. do not know you, you know what know. i think jj's you're done thinking, a good job you're thinking the jab is gonna do exact same thing like it did last time it yeah won't. you think so trust me all right i'm gonna f you up okay i've heard this you're before gonna be, you're gonna be panicking you think i know so? you're already nervous bro i know you're nervous i know i the wish i wish i felt anxiety yeah i wish yeah, i felt yes you are it would make me feel logan paul does not feel nervous was that he had a, an adrenaline dump last fight because he was nervous and trying to perform? No. Logan Paul is a superhuman. He's an animal. I wish I felt anxiety. Yeah. I wish yeah, I felt yeah, nervous. Yes, you are. It would I make know me you feel are. human. I know you but are. unfortunately, you're no longer dealing with a human. You're dealing oh, with an animal. Okay, cool. Well, I can't wait to kill this animal then. <laughs> I just love how stupid Logan comes across. Specifically because of how he's criticised KSI of similar things. Like, he criticised KSI for coming across uh, as a supervillain instead of a human. And then Logan Paul is trying to come across as an animal. So, like, this was last year as well. So, Logan Paul criticised KSI for trying to be a villain. 
Liverpool's trying to make it out like he's a superhuman. That's a bit stupid in my opinion. I Shannon think, Briggs tap Logan think, on the back. I think, I think you know, JJ's do done a good job do of convincing you do fans you do that he's shit. a good fighter. Okay. I don't think you've done a good job of convincing yourself. Oh. The thing is, right, I don't know how Logan can even say that because clearly KSI is extremely confident. But on top of that, the public workout is only enough for me as a KSI fan, not a fanboy. I don't, I don't love everything KSI's done. He objectified like Peter Pice, well, then girlfriend uh, a few years ago, and I really didn't like that. Uh, so obviously, there is things I've criticized KSI for in the past. KSI's public workout demonstrated that he's clearly a good fighter. His his speed and his strength of his punches is flipping amazing. And the thing is with KSI is he's just keeping it all on a low. He's keeping all of his training on a low. Logan Paul is just trying to prove to people that, you know, he's strong, he's in shape, he's ready for this fight. He even released, like, a Snapchat series going through how hard he's been training. Like, he's just desperate to prove to people that he's going to win this. And he, he needs that, you know? Okay, so now they have the face-off. And honestly, I don't get how these two are the same weight at all. Like, at all. So, they do the face-off, right? And obviously, Logan Paul is huge. Like... I, I don't want to get obsessive about this or anything, but, like, this is, like, I don't even want to be obsessive, but this is, like, an easy three-inch height advantage. Easy. So, I think Logan is, I think Logan's 6'2", and I think KSI is 5'11". But I don't want to get pedantic or anything, but I, I think uh, KSI is wearing really thick shoes. Yeah, he's got his, he's got his Air Force Ones on. I don't want to point this out, because obviously it doesn't matter too much in boxing, but in the fight where they're both wearing equal... Uh, shoe wear pretty much because it's a boxing match they can't really wear heels or anything they look very similar in height but then when it comes to these press conferences logan just looks much bigger does logan wear thicker shoes just to give that impression look how much bigger logan looks in terms of his like depth i don't know what you call it so yeah ksi with his hair <laughs> he does look quite intimidating to be fair um it looks like a warrior Logan actually likes KSI's hair. So if you want Logan Paul to like you, just get that haircut, pretty much. KSI, he just looks more, like, passionate about it. And, like, with Logan's arms, like, that's a weird, like, way to put your arms. I just think it is. Like, he's trying to, like, protect himself. Okay, now he's put his arms behind his back. I don't know why he's done that, but he's decided to do that. But KSI's kept his arms in a, like, specific place. He's not moving much. It's like his head. But yeah, they both look equally confident in this scene, I think. But, you know, if you're three inches taller than someone and you're doing a face up, like, it's really easy <laughs> to be confident. <laughs> it must be. Yeah, they, they both look heated now. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I watched this, I was like, God dang it. Because I always really respected KSI for being, like, calm and collected in these press conferences and for him to push Logan, I mean, come on, KSI. But Logan Paul's response, he pretty much said, oh, was there a cockroach in here? Because he's trying to make out like, you know, KSI didn't push him hard. But then Logan Paul pushed KSI and it didn't really look that hard either. So whatever. But if you actually watch this in slow motion, <laughs> yo, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. So this is when um, Logan Paul pushed KSI. That looked like quite a good push on Logan's behalf. Like he clearly put some effort in. and KSI just didn't seem to move that much. But the main thing I want to mention though with this face off. Like when it zoomed out a bit more. How are they the same weight? So what I think is happening. Because they're not the same weight at all. So Logan Paul put up a tweet saying that he is his best weight, 205 pounds, which is 94 kg. Uh, that's five pounds over the weight limit for cruiserweight. So Logan Paul's admitting that he's going to have to weight cut just before the fight, which is pretty much when you, you just dehydrate yourself a bit to weigh less. And that just proves to me that Logan Paul is trying to get yet another advantage because pretty much with boxing, you have weight limits. Uh, if you're heavier, you're going to 
hit harder, effectively. You can have more muscle mass. You can decrease a lot of your body weight just by dehydration. You can decrease it by like five kilograms. So he could easily be 210 pounds. And as long as he knows how to dehydrate himself properly, he could easily get into the under 200 pound limit, which is what cruiserweight is. So I feel like what's happened is Logan Paul, he's going to weigh in at 200 pounds, which is fine. But his actual fight weight is going to be much closer to 210 pounds. So he's going to be much heavier. Than KSI because I don't think KSI is playing that game. I think KSI is going to come in weighing less than 200 pounds, probably quite close to 200 pounds, and then in the fight he's going to be about the same weight because he's not going to try and trick the system by trying to present that he's lighter than he actually is, just so he doesn't get that unfair advantage. And I think that proves the KSI is not actually a bad fighter. Logan called KSI a dirty boxer. Weight cutting is more dirty than one petty punch after the bell. Just saying. So this is my last video on the press conferences, obviously, because, I mean, there won't be any more press conferences. Generally speaking, though, I'm actually really excited for this fight. Um, I need to show I look horrendous with visual air, but, yeah, this fight's been really good, in my opinion. And a lot of people like to hate on KSI and Logan, uh, just because they're taking the piss out of boxing or whatever. But I actually got into boxing because of the Joella fight. I'm interested in, like, actual pro fights. So I feel like the boxing community should thank Logan Paul and KSI, like Jesus Christ. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video, smash like me, enjoy it, subscribe to the channel if you're new today, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye!